with you. We've seen storm damage and flooding, but Brad and Jenny, it's nothing like the flooding that's displacing several people over at the Fairface Garden Apartments. I would rather be here than any place else. But um, I like this water, it's getting me none. Flooding due to Debbie at Fairface Garden Apartments is hitting seniors hard. About 30 people live there. Family members are being contacted and local officials are managing the evacuation. When I woke up this morning, I came out here and this is what it was. Allendale Fairfax Elementary School mm -hmm. is designated for the um, safekeeping at this time. But what we're trying to do right now is get them out to family members. Emergency services, including the fire department, are on the ground. They are addressing the water issues, but haven't removed it all yet. They tried to siphon some of the water out of the area, directed it back into the woods, but it's so much water, it's just running right back. There's a push to investigate nearby canals that might be contributing to the constant flooding. Leaders say they've asked for help from the outside, but the response has been slow. The engineers would have to come in and look at it and see what, what would have to have happen for it to uh, not happen again. But uh, certainly uh, there could be something done drainage wise, but that would be up to an engineer to tell us what we need to do to get that done. Hey, whoosh. Tree just came in. In Allendale, Adrienne Williams was preparing her kids for bed when a tree crashed into her home. She heard a loud crash as debris hit the floor. My baby just jumped up because I was in like right there with the closet door way going towards the bathroom because I just got the baby out the tub. Mm -hmm. And my baby was like, hi, mama, help, I'm scared, I'm scared, and looked up. Yep, tree right there. So we can't stay here. The whole ceiling out, like you can see outside right now. She's managing okay for now, but they're staying with her mother until they can get things sorted out. The storm has caused significant damage. The roof, floors, kitchen, and her clothes are ruined. Now I'm on disability. I get a check once a month. And I got rent and school clothes. And emergency management officials want you to report any downed trees, power lines, or debris that you may encounter. They have a non emergency number. Let me get that for you. It's 803 584 8151. Live in Allendale County, I'm Aiken Bureau Chief Sean Cabbage Stock. WJBF News Channel 6.